Kentucky Art Center now. Gosh, it's like four o'clock. I've already gone inside. It is absolutely magnificent. I took a couple clips that you just saw. Not too much and I moved fast because I just didn't want to intrude on people's uh, personal space. There's a lot of people in there. I love these flags. I came out here to um, because of driving in. Crafts and arts. I've always heard arts and crafts. I really like that. Crafts and arts for some reason. Maybe because it's different. Laugh and learn. And then on down the ways here, we have walk and bike. They've got all kinds. They've got uh, shop and dine. The flags go all the way around and they're all different. They were playing music inside also, so the clips were without music. And I think that that's the order I'm going to do it. It's either coming up or you just saw those clips. How about that? I never know till later when I'm editing. But I'm going to head into the town now. It's getting kind of late. And see what I can see. The video's getting kind of long too, so that was another reason. I just, I didn't want a video long inside the, they've got a beautiful thing, Women of Influence. I mean, it is just fantastic. Something I'd like to come back to, I think. I'm going to go downtown. I picked up a piece of pizza because I was hungry and I just ate that inside Happy Haven. She's sitting over there behind that, I guess it's a Class C. And uh, so just going to see what's in town and then I'm going to head in the direction of Noah's Ark, which is my plan for tomorrow. So that's about it for now. Oh my gosh, I could have spent easy $200 inside this uh, center also. I'm going to come around here. Um, yes, for gifts for Christmas. I mean, all made in Kentucky, you know, by local artists. What a way to go to spend your money on local people who work hard for a, their living and the beautiful art. I, that uh, little manger scene, the tiny manger scene. I may have to find that online or come back just for that for my tiny home. But it was $38. And after buying that plaque today, I cannot justify spending money on a, on a tiny manger set. And they also had beautiful painted rocks. Uh, about 10 times the size of just an average rock you find on the ground. And painting that I could never do. I'm, I'm more like a, an abstract. If you've seen the Say It Display It cards, I do watercolors and acrylics like in an abstract. And they had sunflowers on this rock. The rock was only 1850, but just not going to go there. Alrighty, take you along into Berea and see what we can well, see. Here's something you can stop the video and read if you like. February 19th, 1988, the Kentucky General Assembly designated Berea as the folk arts and crafts capital of Kentucky. Awesome. Definitely my cup of tea. I've been doing handicrafts and arts most of my life. I started out selling note paper cards door to door when I was like 12 years old. Pressed flowers and then and a water and glue mixture and you use Kleenex and then you use a ruler to tear the edges. They were beautiful. My Aunt Lila, named after, my mom was named after her, taught me how to make pressed flower note cards. So here's the town. Restaurant, Appalachian Fireside Gallery, coffee, very cool. And then on the other side of me is Berea College. And I don't 
don't know, maybe this is it. I'm gonna pull over on the side here. Ask Google. So I decided to stop in this Berea College Visitor Center and shop. Look how pretty. Boone Tavern Hotel. Beautiful brick buildings. I think that's the college, maybe the dorms. Just a lovely small town. I'm gonna go in here and then there's an artisan gallery somewhere within a minute. Okay, so I asked Google and I forget that there's this nice old fashioned way of finding things. <laughs> okay, so first things first, but I do have to say, I love this concept. Somewhere nice to put your phone while you do your thing, right? So I just went in here and it's uh, all college related, you know, t-shirts, sweatshirts, notebooks, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna go look for the other art area. And there's a nice smoothie bar in there. I just did not feel like filming. So if this interests you, just put it on your bucket list. And as we walk down the streets, Healing Arts, does not look open, coffee and tea. How cute is that? Yes. And then we have the Appalachian Field Office. Pretty window, I like it. Colorful Appalachian Fireside Gallery. Very nice. Not good. Or maybe it's good. Bud shop. If my stomach felt a little bit better from that pizza I just ate. <laughs> okay, I love walking down this street. Nobody around. It's awesome. I see it. There it is. Small house craft gallery. I turned my head, I was wondering, 1916, okay, it is pretty old. Look at those trees, talk about artwork, wow, God outdid himself on that one. And I love this, like how it's still, the leaves are still hanging on, there's still some fall. Okay, I'm gonna resist Berea Fudge Shop. I pass that up. I pass up fudge all the time. Although I'd love to splurge with somebody. My kids, my grandkids. Look at this. Now that is special. The special sign for the day. Okay, so there was a back door to that shop that I visited and look at this so peaceful where's everybody at it's about 5 15 now just a lovely day for a stroll lovely lovely day Here's my feeling of cobblestone. Brick, right? Brick. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, pansies. And are these mums? Uh, I don't know. Y'all can tell me. Love it. I'm gonna take some close-ups of these. Some pictures. Beautiful. 
Are they waving hi? Awesome! Funky art. And on down the what feels like this should be a cobblestone. Look how pretty that is. Log House Craft Gallery. Berea College. Okay, so I don't imagine that I will video in here also because there are people around and it's a small space. It just feels awkward sometimes, you know? So with that, I recommend highly the art center where I just was and I recommend Red Gorge and I recommend Natural Bridge and the Ark in Williamson, Kentucky comes highly recommended. Hope you enjoyed this six part series. You can find the other ones in the playlist. Uh, this is number five, I think, and six will be tomorrow with the Ark. So blessings in your day and joy in the journey. All right, so one more thing. I decided to film just a little bit in here for you. I just had a lovely conversation with somebody from Africa who works here. And to finish the conversation, which I did not want to talk about in the store, she goes to the college here. Her uncle, uh, who lives in Arizona, wanted someone from the family to go to Berea College. And she's working in social justice, and she wants to go back to her home. She has about a year and a half, and she's going to... Uh, work in rural areas like building wells and maybe starting a clinic. So cool, so cool. And uh, the conversation was really good, except for the mask. I couldn't understand some of what she was saying and I had to ask her to repeat herself a few times. And that was really quite annoying. But anyways, it is what it is at this point. I'm gonna head on down the road to a rest area. Later.